Hurricane Ida is just the latest storm in what has already been a very active Atlantic hurricane season and 11 Alive viewer noticed a pattern with many of these hurricanes that impact the southeastern United States. She reached out to our Y guy asking why so many storms begin off of the coast of Africa. Here's our Y guy. The right seeds planted in the right place can produce a lush garden. When it comes to hurricanes, thunderstorms are the seeds, and often the right place is off the coast of Africa. 11 Alive viewer Sandra Wilson reached out wondering why so many of the storms that impact our weather begin off of Africa's west coast. After years of listening to Chesley talk about the hurricane season, I'm wondering why there. Our own Chesley McNeil is one of the experts we'll turn to for the answer. Early in the hurricane season, it's more likely that storms will form in the Caribbean or Gulf of Mexico. As we get into August and September, the Cape Verde Islands off the coast of Africa become the focus. It begins with conflict over land. If you took a look at the continent of Africa, you have the very dry desert up here to the north and in the moist part of the continent down here to the south. Those two air masses will compete with one another. That produces thunderstorms that move from land to sea. Dr. Marshall Shepard of UGA's Atmospheric Sciences program tells us those thunderstorms serve as seeds. The wind and warm weather off the African coast encourage those seedlings to grow. As you get further north up towards Europe, uh, the water temperatures are starting to cool off dramatically, so they just can't support hurricane development. Wind flowing east to west off of Africa will move any tropical system toward us. Our winds fight back. Our winds, predominant winds, are from west to east, and so it blows the storm back into the Atlantic Ocean. They do occasionally make landfall along the southeastern coast. Traveling a long distance over warm water can strengthen a hurricane. Moving over land can weaken it, determining the power of the punch once it arrives on our shores. A lot of mixtures there, Chesley. Air masses uh, competing with each other, as you mentioned there. And it's a very interesting analogy, Jerry, mentioned those thunderstorms acting as seeds. Yeah, once they get over the warm waters, it feeds it. And so that's how it grows and then makes its way over toward us. And so we've been seeing that and got a couple out there right now that we're watching. We're getting closer and closer now to peak hurricane season.